Hey guys, this is Versatile from Gain Exterior. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a port forwarding with your router. What does that even mean? So bottom line is, let's say you're playing a game on your computer, or you're trying to host an internet server, or something that needs to access the internet and people need to connect to your PC to connect to you basically, to do something, right? And in order to do that, you need to open up your ports, because if you don't open up your ports, then let's say your friend can't connect to your PC to help you play with the game or whatever, you know what I mean? So how do we do that, right? So most PCs, I would think today, are connected to like a router, right? And this router is connected to the internet, and this router is also connected to your internet modem basically right so if your port is blocked for your particular game or whatever then other people can't connect to you so I'm gonna show you how to do that procedure on your router and then you can start suddenly having good time so let's do this I'll show you how to do this from start to finish so go to your start menu don't worry I have a different skin but the concept is the same start go to run and then at this box here to run box type in CMD press enter and then type in IP config press enter now what you want to do is you scroll up to your internet connection. So I know that for sure that I'm using a wireless LAN adapter and we see that my default gateway is 192.168.1.1. Okay, great. So now what do we do is we go down to your favorite web browser, like Google Chrome is mine, for example, 192.168.1.1, type that in. Now you type in your username and password. Versatile, I don't know what my username and password is. What am I supposed to do? All right, so there's two things you could do. One is look into your router manual, go to or go to the router website, download the manual, take a look at it. Or you can ask the person who set up your router what the network credentials are. If you can't find that person because that person died or whatever, or they forgot what it is, you can reset your router's password by pressing the, um, the reset button on the back of the hardware. But once again, you need your router manual. If you don't know what I'm talking about, what you can also do is go to routerpasswords.com. And here, let's find a router. So like, for example, Belkin press find password and this will have a list of all the different default passwords so like for example um, we're saying maybe the username is none and the password is one of these or let's go to something more popular like uh, a Linksys Linksys press find password and we know that look a lot of these um, routers like this one this is a popular model the WRT model the password and username is admin and admin anyways let's go back to mine and I already have a different password so let's go ahead and type that in. Now here's the interface of my router. Every single router is different, but the concept is the same. So please think outside the box just for a little moment and try to bear with me here. I want you to go into your router and find something called port forwarding. So let's go ahead. I see on the left-hand side I have this thing called port forwarding. So let's click on that. And now I have a bunch of things going on here. So let's just do it a, a very quick example. I do a hypothetical example, okay? So Every router is different, like I said, so just follow this tutorial and try to accommodate the best you can. So under protocol, I'm going to say um, both. If you don't know what type of protocol your game or server uses, you can't go wrong selecting both. I never had any issues with that, but if you know exactly what it is, go ahead and select it. But I'm going to say both for now. External port, this is the port that your game uses. So today's example, let's say Quake 3. Okay, So I'm going to make up a port. I don't know what the real Quake 3 port is, but let's just say hypothetically it's 11166 okay internal address okay so that's gonna be my IP address and uh, what is my IP address okay I had a screenshot here so my IP address is actually 192.168.1.134 okay great so let's do that 134 oops 134 and then here if you if you have the ability to give it a name I'll say like quake 3 as an example click on add or click on save whatever your router says and then click on save down here and then you let your router I don't know if it does a soft reboot every single router is different but it basically restarts its internal services and that's it you are good to go now if you don't trust your router like you don't really know if your port is really open what you could also do is you could go to port forward um, portforward.com and they have this program called a port checker I'm not gonna go into details but just be comforted be comforted sorry that there is a program there to help you check your ports now if you are still confused and you don't know how to use a router to do the port forward because your router screen is totally different than mine or your friends or your sisters or whatever okay fine go to this website like I said portforward.com and what you do is click on router list here okay and then what you're gonna do is you scroll down and find your router in this list or find a router that's very close to what you got so what I'm going to do is, I don't know, let me click on a D-Link here. So like 524, DI 524. 
And now some people will say, versatile, there's an ad here. What am I supposed to do? Don't worry about it. Jeez. Click on this uh, button right here called click here to skip this advertisement. So you click on that. Okay. And now you go to the next screen. Sweet. So now go ahead and hopefully your, your game or whatever you're trying to do is in here. So let's say hypothetically that I want to do like this. I want to do a port forward for a game called Painkiller as an example. Everything is an example today, right? So it goes to the next page here. It's, and here you just follow, follow the steps here. So like for example, it says enter your static IP address. Okay, so my IP address hypothetically is this. Okay. And now you scroll down. And then it's going to say make sure you type in your password, all that good stuff. And then you go down here. And then it will tell you exactly what to do and how to put it into the picture here. And you're good to go. So if you get more confused, Leave a comment here on the YouTube page and I'll help you out. But guys, that is how you do port forwarding. It's pretty simple. It's, it's not rocket science. It's pretty easy. It will take you less than two minutes to do a port forward once you go through it the first time around. So if you like this type of video, please like, favorite, and subscribe so that hopefully one day we can get to the front page of YouTube. Otherwise, if you got any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.